darn. What's going on here? Like I said, always something. Yeah, I gotta be honest with you, I don't even know why I'm bothering with this today. It just seems like today every little thing has been getting on my nerves. Have you ever had days like that? I, uh, I hope not, because this is miserable. Uh, so the weed whacker didn't start. First I had a broken branch, don't know why. Earlier I had uh, uh, small chicken hawks going after my chickens. They were out running around and I heard the screech. So did the birds. They panicked. They ran into their pen. Good birds as they are. And uh, I, you know, locked them up and kind of shooed the, uh, the predator away. And then I go to try to start my weed whacker because you know, it's actually not too bad today. It's The weather's been um, well, it's by the time you, I don't know when you're seeing this, but it's September, and I can I can feel, I can smell, I can taste autumn, and so the mornings are down in the 60s, so it's been quite cool in the mornings, and so I get a chance to you know, get out, mow the lawn, do all those gardening things, that uh, yeah, sometimes it's just too miserable to do and it hasn't been so bad well I I, uh, I I ran out of time the other day and I figured well today I'll get out and weed whack the the uh, the mighty craftsman can you see this <laughs> has done well and then a, a, a few days ago I went to go use it and it did it just kind of quit right in the middle of a, a weed whack it just stopped so I figure there are probably, well, there's three things that can be going wrong. It takes three important things to make an internal combustion engine work, and that's fuel, fire, oxygen. Those are the three things that you need to burn things. And there's internal combustion, that means there's burning going on. So I think those are the three things I got to check. I got to make sure fuel is getting to the carburetor, even though there's fuel in the tank, and then make sure there's spark and make sure that there's air. I think there's ample air. But you never know. Something might be clogged. Let's figure this out together, shall we? Once you push it down, you back. Use our Amazon link down below. When you do, it helps us out and it doesn't cost you a penny more. And after using the link, save it to your bookmarks so you can have easy access to it in the future. Thank you. All right, before I get started, I guess I should ask, do any of you have uh, um, a motor like this? I guess Murray makes one. This is a Craftsman brand. There's a couple of them out there that are just like this. I know that because I've done a little search around the internet air filter and all this area seems kind of clean so and then here's the choke um plenty of air <laughs> um 
But if you have one of these and you've had troubles, maybe leave me a comment down below because I don't know how far I'm going to go today with this thing. I'm running out of steam and I'm running out of time. <coughs> you know what? Hang on. Let's see if... Uh, let's see if that plug has been fouled. I guess the more important question is, let's see if I have a... Oh, great. Clearly, it ain't this one. Find another one. Uh, I don't think it's this one. Uh, I, I thought right. How about this? <laughs> no. If I'm going to do it, I'm going to use this. Okay, this is what happened the last time something went wrong. Nope. Son of a sea biscuit. You know, that's what my uh, Uncle Harry used to say whenever he was around me. I never knew why he would always pay homage to a racehorse. But I will say my Uncle Harry was a lot of fun to be around. Ooh, I found this. Okay, there's hope for somebody who has the right spark plug for this tool because this is not it. Okay, I'm moving on. I don't even remember what this was from. Okay, 14 millimeter thread. It's not what I'm looking for. Okay, the threads on many automobile plugs. Oh my God, would you get to it? You know, this thing is laced with advertisements. They never get to the point. And no luck with fire. Let's try fuel and air. Yeah. I got fuel everywhere. What is going on? I don't know what's going on here. Uh, yeah. I'm hoping fuel is getting into there. I think it is. I gotta turn on the air compressor. Oh, gotta plug in the air compressor. It's gonna get loud. Here we go. While it's doing its thing, I'll check it. Okay. Now that that's all done. So, there's fuel. There's a little filter down in there. Uh, it seems fine. Off camera, I pulled it out. Seems okay. Diaphragm seems okay. I'm just gonna... Clear that out. Fuel is getting to the primer thing here via that little rubber bulb. Um, it's coming in through this line, or it's actually going back into the tank. This is the flow back. This is the flow in. I don't know if I have a problem with... Let's get the... Last time I did that, it's got fuel everywhere. So this is from the tank into the thing. I'm going to I'm going to shoot some air. Oh. Well, that was interesting. Yeah, the only other thing, everything looks clean. Filters clean, diaphragm seems okay. Uh, I can't get this ho oh no, I can't get this hose off. Maybe I got to try that now. Um I really don't want to do this because if I screw up this hose right now I don't think I have the patience it's probably best not to do it right because that's when accidents can happen and I mean what can happen here just everything okay so my patience is very thin I think I'm gonna stop now I'm not going to do anything about it. Not today. There's too much of a little more importance to do. There's just been a lot going on, you know? Sometimes when you get sick and tired, you just get sick and tired. And that's kind of where I'm at right now. So if you don't mind, I'm going to stop. I hope you're having a good day. Leave me some comments down below if you have a 
Craftsman Weed Whacker. This is the 25cc gas trimmer, 40 to 1 fuel mixture weed whacker <laughs> with an incredible thing. It's incredible. I'm going to stop. Guys, I love you. I really do. I'm going to take a break. I've got something coming from uh, the Mantis Company. And uh, we're going to do a, 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 a... We're going to open the box, take a look inside. It has to do with lasers. Lasers. I don't want to bore you with my problems here with this weed whacker. I'd rather show you some fun stuff that we get a chance to do. And hopefully, um, Shooting Kid will help me with that video. He's been working a lot. Um, it's no secret that he's been working for a car dealership and boy is he doing well. I'm very proud of him that uh, he he had uh, he found something that he enjoys doing. He loves cars, loves trucks, and uh, he likes people and he likes to put the right car or right truck in the person's garage. Alan Samuels, Dodge Chrysler, Jeep Ram. We got special deals for y'all, especially on these uh, Jeep Gladiator 2021s. Give me a holler at 408-679-9541. Come by, let's be friends. And so it all kind of marries together and he's really enjoyed doing that. And uh, so if you're in the Waco area, uh, I'll put a link below where you could go check out where he works. And uh, even if you're not in the Waco area, Maybe you're further up like in Hillsboro or you're further down like in Kyleen or maybe even Fort Worth, uh, Dallas area or down in the Austin area. I'm sure Shooting Kid can uh, work out something. Gosh, he's even delivered cars up to the Fort Worth, Dallas area. And if I'm not mistaken, he's even done it down to the Austin area. So. If you, uh, I'm pretty sure if you purchase one through him and you're kind of far away, he can probably work it out where it gets delivered. That's kind of cool. Love you, son. And uh, I'm proud of you. Doing a good job. Um, and you found something that you really enjoy. It's good. I'm going to take off. I love you. God bless you. God bless America. May America bless God. I gotta get this thing started. Please help me. Do you know anything about these weed whackers?